G'day folks, this morning I'm going fly fishing for trout in second hand water. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Right now, how do I know this is second hand water? Because Rowan and I walked through here fishing yesterday and spooked everything. So these fish are going to be super flighty. And there's the proof that it's second hand water because there's the wet clothes that I wore. I've even got me wet jocks, jocks hanging down here somewhere. Alright, they're hanging out there to dry. Now, I'm using a Royal Stimulator with a black bead headed nymph underneath and my dropper is only about 6 inches under the fly in the deep holes like this I'd like the dropper to be a lot further down but a lot of the fish we found yesterday when we walked through this were out in the shallow water feeding and in these shallow runs if a dropper's too long it's just going to drag into the rocks and get snagged so a nice short dropper for shallow water second hand shallow water let's go and see if we can fool a fish now one thing about second hand water when I say second hand, that means that you know someone's just fished it very recently and the fish are going to be probably spooked or flighty, which we already know is the case here because it was us that fished it. But one thing about second hand water, the fish will be flighty, but they'll be more likely to take a fly than what they will be to take an artificial lure. So Rowan has gone downstream, I drove Rowan downstream earlier, and he's going to walk back up to the campsite and fish water that we didn't fish yesterday with lures, and I'm going to fish the second hand water with the fly. It'll be interesting to see whether either of us or both of us catch fish. Oh, I had a take and I missed it. So close. That's a sign, that's a start. Got him! Jeez, he made a bolt for that as soon as they hit the water! Whoa! He's a lovely fish! As soon as that fly hit the water, he come charging straight over to it. It's not as big as I first thought, he's just got a lot of energy. The fly hit the water, and then I saw his wave go vroom, straight down to it, then bang. You beauty, mate, what have you done? Have you got both? You've got, you've got both, <laughs> you, 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 you're hooked twice. Or are you just fair hooked? He's just fair hooked. What the, I don't know what's going on here. Mate, come on, let me work this out. And this is why he felt so big, because he's hooked in the bum. I always feel bigger when they're hooked in the bum, but I've got to be careful because there's, a, there's two hooks. I can see the stimulator that's in his bum, but I can't see where the nymph is. Mate, if you can just come back here, I really need a net for this, don't I? Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Come on, buddy. Hey, 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 hey. All right. There's the trope. I don't know whether he's been hooked in the nymph, which is about the perfect distance away. I'd say he's been hooked in the nymph, and then when he's taken off his uh, foul hooked, or whether I just foul hooked him and it was a pure fluke. But either way, it's a fish on the board. It's a lovely little brown trout. Thanks for coming to the party, mate. See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. Oh, I missed him. I had a take and I missed it. Bugger it. Got him! Oh, what happened there? A fish hit it, I struck. The fish is still right next to me. I think I've got this fish on the nymph. Look, he's just kicking around there. I reckon he's taken the nymph and I've got a snag with the dry. Is that what's happened? There he goes, he, he just took off. Bugger, so close. He, he bloody, the, the dry went under, so I struck and it was snagged, but there was a trout right next to it. Bugger it. Ah, bugger. Ah, 
Bastard. Oh, tip for me, folks. <laughs> <laughs> 